guys, welcome back. Here we go to Kill Springs, a day trip from Grand Central Station to Kill Springs. Look at that, wow, the Statue of Liberty. If you can see it through the fog. It's very foggy today. Crazy. Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So we've been in the New Yorker now. This is our third day. Let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, fourth day, actually. Um, and I'll just do a little quick update on a room review. So we were upgraded to this room. I paid an extra $10 per night. We're here for 10 nights. I don't even know what this room's called, but look at the view, which is amazing. And by the way, yes, I was 50. You cannot see, I'm saying it's amazing. The Statue of Liberty is through there, but it is hidden by fog. Very, very crazy. It's a beautiful view. There's Madison Square Garden. So, yes, so it's a good sized room. Nice big chair there. We have a fridge, which is freezing. There's a nice bucket, which we've never used. Um, I noticed this as well because I didn't see that there was many plugs but then I found that there's this a little USB port and two plug holes the bed is really comfortable very high there is the heating which took me a little bit of mess and it's old but you can mess around and get to see how it works there's lots of little lights to turn on the TV is okay, I'm trying to think anything else. Then there is this little wardrobe here, which is great. And the first day I got here, I thought this was the next door's room, but it's not. It is actually a little, well, it's quite big. <laughs> Some New York apartment, I need this says. It's a walk-in wardrobe with a safe. Nothing to see in the window. John's in the bathroom so I can't go in there at the moment but it's a nice big bathroom with an old shower which won't stay up on its own so I've had to tie a pair of my knickers around the top to keep it up <laughs> but what will I say about it yeah it's definitely definitely nice the location of this hotel is amazing like you can, can't see <laughs> There's the Empire State, which you can't see. It just looks like the sky, foggy sky. Madison Square Garden there. Um, we've got a TikTok diner downstairs, which is open 24 hours. You have a McDonald's over the road. We went to an amazing little bagel place yesterday, which was about a 15 minute walk in Chelsea. So, so good. If you check out my um, YouTube videos, it will be on there. So today, now we are on Tuesday, which is the 27th of February. It seemed a little bit warmer yesterday. We are going to, because we're here for 10 days and this is our fifth visit to New York. Shear out this window. We are <clears throat> going to Grand Central Station and we are getting the train to Coal Spring, which is about an hour and a half train journey from Grand Central and it's a nice looks a nice little town I hope it's not foggy there because you won't really be able to see much but it does look a beautiful little town it's just something a bit different because tomorrow we have our five day city pass activated um, and I've got lot, lots planned lots on the itinerary absolutely loads we're doing summer, summit one Vanderbilt tomorrow which isn't included in the city pass we are doing um, a TV and movies tour. I'm trying to think what else I've got booked tomorrow now. I'll have to check. So yeah, guys, it's all going good at the minute. Good morning, guys. <laughs> We're off for our favorite little bagel place, what we've found. I think I'm just gonna get some um, porridge, but it's called, what's it called over here? Oatmeal, yeah, oatmeal. I'll have some oatmeal and a coffee and then we'll walk into Grand Central Station which is absolutely stunning by the way I love it there but we're getting on the train we're going to Pearl Spring 
which looks beautiful. So let's go turn the camera around. There's the big rat over there. It must just park itself up that rat in certain places because it says shame on you. Madison Square Garden. But I don't know what it's for. So have a look. I'll have to look that up if anyone knows, let me know. So here it is guys, New York City Bagel Coffee House. So nice. Look at some of these cream cheeses. Wow. And there's all the bagels. I've gone for the oatmeal with blueberries, strawberries and peanut butter. And John's got like a bagel with sausage, scrambled egg and hash brown on again. So let me try and open this. So cheap in here. They um, literally come to $23 and I gave them a tip, a $2 tip. So yeah, you can see this. Looks lovely. And I've got a cappuccino. So let you know what it's like. It was lovely, it was nice. John's bagel was humongous. <laughs> half half of it would have done to be fair, but so reasonable price than there. You can come in on a butcher if you want to, definitely. I mean what you've just had to keep you full all day, wouldn't it? So we're walking down to Grand Central now. It's about 30, 35 minute walk. So we'll see you there. Here we are, Grand Central. Get ready for the beauty inside. We haven't got much time, we've got about 10 minutes to get our tickets and find, find out where we get on it. Go for the information desk. Look at the seal. Wowza. Wowza, wowza. So we've been to the information and we need to, our train is at 9.48 and what was the number, 38? So we're just going to buy our tickets now. Should have enough time. I think he said it was over there, yeah, over there, the tracks 38. So we're off to Cold Springs. Little road trip. Well not road trip, it's a train trip. Came to $61 for two return tickets to Cold Spring. Track 38. It's leaving in about eight minutes. Oh, it's exciting. I've never um, actually been on a train before. Should have got some more, so to be honest. It's an hour and something, isn't it? So 
this year. Hi guys, welcome back. Here we go to Kill Springs, a day trip from Grand Central Station to Kill Springs. I'll turn the camera around, it was easy, $61 retained for two adults. Off we go. There's a bridge going across the Hudson River. It's a shame how the weather is today. So we've arrived at Curl Spring. Let's see what it's like. It was about what? An hour and five minutes? It wasn't that long to get here. An hour and twenty minutes. Here we are at Curl Spring. Beautiful, beautiful day. So we've just got off the train and it says it's a seven minute walk up here. So we're just walking to the little main village. Beautiful. The pig hill in bed and breakfast since 1825. We just stopped there for a little Pepsi and I got avocado on thin toast which was beautiful. The guy who runs it was really nice, Egyptian guy, very friendly, told us where to go and had a good little chat. Lovely. It's an absolutely stunning day here. I've come out, <laughs> as usual, overly prepared or underly prepared, I am usual, but I've come out with a scarf and a hat and everything and it's boiling, it's like a summer's day Cold spring please Cold spring what? Please
so quiet. I feel like we're the only ones here. But give it a few more months to summer in Cold Spring. Looks insane. Looks so busy. I'd rather come when it was like this. You've got it to yourself. How cute. Everywhere you go, you see the beetles. So peaceful here. So this is Cold Spring guys. Don't know where you start the walk on trails but we're not doing that today.
like guys I've just been in there Cool Springs Antique Centre it's like a little TARDIS of antiques and goodies it's so cute just bought myself a little brooch and a little Christmas decoration it's so cute in there I could have literally spent hours <laughs> but I thought you were waiting for me John outside that shop had to be the most random shop ever I've seen in my life it literally had all kinds there was old <laughs> war pins there was I oh, just can't even explain what was in there or like what you could see on the video I only got a little bit of it it was insane back to the train so these trains are every hour there and back from Manhattan Grand Central it's a nice little way to get away from the busyness of Manhattan come to Curl Spring and enjoy a few hours just so you know when you're going back to New York it's track two the same track that you got off you get back on on track two so don't forget guys when you're heading back even though you get off track two when you come into Curl Springs you go back on track two as well back to Grand Central Here's what I bought. So I just looked for something that took my eye in the little treasure grove. And a little old fashioned brooch. How cute is that? Little green emerald. And then I love to get a good little Christmas tree decoration. Look at this geezer black haired nutcracker can't even see him open his mouth there's a track change the 1.04 p.m. train to Poughkeepsie will arrive on track 2 we apologize for the inconvenience little squirrels over there <laughs>
ist, ne? Life to life. And just like that, back in Manhattan. The library. Beautiful. Police have you I don't know why. Macy's just down there in Times Square up there. John on his toes as always. There's just random little churches in between the streets. So I'm deciding what to do with myself when I get back because it is still only early. And the next five days are quite action packed with me city pass. So when I went to Jersey Mills the other day shopping, I was literally too tired, so I didn't buy a thing. So I need to go back. So I don't want to just go back to the room, go to, go to the restroom quick, <laughs> as they call it over here. Really need a way and go back out, go to Port Authority and get the bus to Jersey Mills. John said he's not going, he, he wasn't really into it the other day. So we'll just stay in and watch a film or two maybe. I'll see how I feel when I get back. I just don't know where else I'm really going to fit it in. And I've seen a lovely lime green case, but the queue was massive. So I might go back and get that. How big these avenues are. Like I said, Times Square is up that way. But the enormous, enormous, humongous. Thought that was a doll she had hills off, but it was an actual child she was lying on the floor with. <sighs> Sad. See Kate Weddensless up there. Your dream is my dream. The regime. New series, March the 3rd on Max. Ooh. Might watch that. I don't know why John's in such a rush. Do -do -do -do. Look at that guys, New York at its best. There we are, nearly back home, I can see our hotel. Madison Square Garden and the back of John's head, which I'm sure you're used to by now. What time are we on? Let's see. So it's 3 pm. See how I feel when I get back to the room. Beep, beep. Hong Kong. It's 
smell your hair. Okay. There we are, guys. The New York. Right next to Madison Square Garden. So like you say, McDonald's is there and the New York bagel place we love is just literally about eight minutes more, just up there. I'll film, film going in, show you what the inside of the hotel is like. Constant people checking in. Get my cards out, so have you got yours? You can see it's a very old hotel, but it does the job. The cleaner's been in every day, changed the tiles if needed, made the bed. Can't complain. I'm just going to say, then we'll come in and there'll be no, there'll be no bed made. And we can see the Empire State again. So it's absolutely lashing down outside. I'm back from Jersey Gardens, went on my own, it was okay, I've got a few little bits. Um, Cause it's raining and we're just ready to chill, we've gone to Water, Water Walk it's called. We've be, been here before, it's really nice, I'll just show you man. turn the camera around. But I read the play and, and it really struck me like a bolt of lightning. I, I've heard it described as, as, as a man confronting the necessity of action at the same time as the impossibility of action. And you see the powers that be.